The last year has been hectic, to say the least. And when we leave off in Warcross, Hideo is kind of in a weird place, both emotionally and professionally. If you had told me a few months ago that I'd be playing Warcross with the Phoenix Riders or dining with Hideo Tanaka, I'd say your Neuralink was glitching. An orphan with $6,000 debt? Ha! Huh. I'd be lucky to keep a roof over my head for one more month. But I don't need to bore you with these details. You've already rummaged through my memories, haven't you? In terms of like the actual structure for how Warcross works, it's very similar to League of Legends um, and Overwatch. I was always a super aggressive Mario Kart player where I just knock people off the track. What you saw was just the beginning. Now, I have a score to settle. Hideo has effectively turned the world's population into his minions, his pawns. Hideo was my friend. You could even say he was more than that. But friends become foes and enemies become allies. I was pretty surprised by Zero. I mean, for that film to even still be so relevant, it, it hit a, a mark in people. <laughs> what could all that do? Ten times zero is still zero. I am a bounty hunter, a painter's daughter, an orphan, a player, a hacker. My name is Amika Chen, and I am no one's pawn. Now, it's up to me and Zero. Can I trust him? All I know is, the dark world awaits.